What is going on everybody and welcome to part eight of our machine learning tutorial series. In this part, we're gonna start working on creating a simple linear regression algorithm from scratch in Python. So to start, we know that the definition of a line is y equals mx plus b. And so we know that x will figure out just simply because that's on the x-axis. But we know we need to know m and b. And m is going to be our best fit slope. And then b is that y-intercept. So first we're going to calculate for m, the slope, and I'll pull up the equation again just as a reminder. So that's just m equals the mean of the x values times the mean of the y values minus the mean of the x's times the y's. All of that is divided over the mean of the x's to the power of 2 minus the mean of all of the x's to the power of 2. Okay? Easy enough. So now we're going to be translating that into Python code. So the first thing that we're going to do is from statistics, we're going to import uh, the mean or mean. And then we're going to import NumPy as NP. So um, you should be able to guess why we're bringing in mean. Uh, there was, there's quite a few uses of mean there. Also, uh, just for the record, the regression line, like a regression line is just a, a straight line. So, you know, for example, uh, an example might be, uh, I'll just pull up an image here, right? Like this is some data points and then you've got this straight red line. That's your regression line. That's also your best fit line. And you might even hear people call it the Y hat line if you're talking to a status, statistician. Anyway, now we're gonna define some simple values. Uh, you, you can get to the point where you're using real data, but I think the easiest thing to do is to, to just define some simple, some simple data. So we're just gonna say X's, one, two, three, four, five, and six, yeah. And then some Y's will say, are uh, 5, 4, 6, 5, 6, and 7. Uh, you don't have to do this part, but we're going to visualize this data real quick. So import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. And I'm just going to, we're not going to make it pretty or anything. I'm just going to say plt.plot x's, y's, plt.show, just so we can see the data we're working with here, okay? So this is the data, of course, we just made it a line. So let's make it a scatter plot. Okay, so that's the data that we're working with. It's just a simple scatter plot, but you can probably see already um, this is positively correlated data, and you could probably think of a line, maybe something like this, you know, drawing up. Anyway, um, so that's our data, and I'm going to move this over. Okay, now I'm going to get rid of showing the graph. Now, we, we know that what we kind of need to do is, if you recall in the... Um, previous examples, our data was not actually a Python list. It wasn't a Python array because it doesn't exist. Instead, it was a NumPy array. So we're going to change this to numpy.array. And um, you just can put that around in like um, parentheses like that. So that's just like basically converting this to our NumPy array. And then we're going to also change the data type. So we're going to say D type. Or actually, we're not changing it. This will be the default, but mp.float64. And we're mainly doing this because we're probably going to be revisiting linear regression. Uh, and it'll be in a time where the data type actually matters. For now, you can or you don't have to put the data type there. Um, we're just being very explicit there with the, with the data type. So... Um, so now we want to get the best fit slope. So let's say we're going to define a function that generated the best fit slope. Okay, so best fit slope. And we know we pass the x's and y's through. And then eventually we want to get to the point where we return m. And then we would just be like m, whoops, m equals best fit slope of the x's and y's, right? And we're done. <laughs> Right, but anyway, that's a that's a nice uh, skeleton function there. So, uh, the first order of business is we do the mean of the x's times the mean of the y's, right? So mean x times the mean of the y's. So how do we calculate that? Well, we can start off by saying m 
equals, now this is not complete, of course, but we're going to say m equals, and at first it's the mean of the x's multiplied by the mean of the y's. Okay? So, so far so good. What was that next step? Mean of the x's times the mean of the y's, and then it's minus the mean of the x's times the y's. So now what we need to do is uh, add that. So the mean of the x's times the mean of the y's. So that's one variation, or like one of the, I hate to say variables, uh, one of the parts. So then what we're going to do is we're going to put more parentheses, space. You don't have to add the space there. Uh, that's definitely not PEP8, just making it easier to read because this is kind of going to be a long one. Anyway, minus, and that was the mean of the x's times the y's right okay so now going back to our um, function here uh, it is we have done the entire top of uh, this fraction basically so now we need to do the next layer so the next thing that we're gonna do is coming back to the code we're gonna add a third parentheses here so I'm gonna add another parentheses add a space you've got this space or these parentheses parentheses I'm going to add a space, a slash, so this is our division sign, and then I'm going to hit enter. And the reason why I'm able to hit enter is because of this parenthesis here, okay? So anyways, um, that's why we're encasing all of this in a parenthesis, just for the record. So now going back to the bottom, we've got, we need to do the mean of the x's to the power of 2, okay? So how might we do that? Well, uh, the, first of all, let's consider what um, the power of 2 actually is. The power of 2 is basically the, um, like let's say it's mean of the x's to the power of 2. That's the mean of the x's times the mean of the x's. Okay, um, so in Python, there's a few different things that we can do. You can do something like, um, let's do this. And you could say a lot of times you can do mean of the x's to the power of 2, like that. But let's run that really quick, and we'll see that um, we get this unsupported operand for the data type we're using. Okay, Another option can be times times. And it looks like that one is acceptable. Another option is mean of the x's literally times the mean of the x's. Okay, both of those will give you um, what you're looking for. Now, finally, it was um, the mean of the x's squared minus the x's squared, or the mean of the x's squared. So for us to do that, and that was minus, right? So this is all one. So at this point, we're going to go minus mean of the, and this is the mean of the x's squared. So this could be, um, you could, a lot of times you could get away with this, but I don't think uh, because of our data type, we'll do that. Yeah. So, or actually, or <laughs> two, <laughs> typo, what an amateur. Anyway, um, all right, so that's not going to work out for us. Um, so another option would be uh, like that, like times times two. Okay, that's acceptable. Um, and then there's, of course, x's like this. Okay, so you can do whichever one you makes you feel better and sleep better at night. <laughs> Regardless, there are, is our m, and then we can even go and print out m. Okay, so m minus 15.26 is what we're getting here. So, um, let me see here. What did I... I'm not content with that. Let's see. That does close all that off. Slash, slash. So I'm getting myself confused now. So let's see. Let me make sure we close this off right, because I don't think that should be what we're getting there. Um, that's about right. And then we wanted this mean of uh, 
because this whole thing needs to be divided by this whole thing. So the mean of the X is like this. Let's run that one more time. That looks to be more along the lines of what I'm looking for. Okay, so, <laughs> so welcome to the world of PEMDAS, right? This is the order of operations, right? Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So if you want to get around the order of operations, you need to use parentheses correctly. I was, my issue was that we were dividing, um, we were trying to, do, what we needed to do was divide by this minus this, like both those things together. But instead, division was occurring before subtraction. So we were actually dividing, doing this divided by this, and then subtracting this from the final answer, which was why we were getting such a large negative number there. Okay, so again, this is just, this is the slope of a line. So a negative 15 slope is, is first of all, negative 15 is kind of weird. Um, Oh, I'm <laughs> printing out PIM does. Um, it's weird to have a negative slope to the line uh, where you have clearly a positively correlated data. But anyways, um, so we have our, uh, our M, and now we need just one more thing, and that is our B. And so that's what we're going to be working on in the next tutorial is calculating B. And then once we have that, we can do linear regression. So anyways, uh, stay tuned in the next video. If you've got questions, comments, concerns, whatever, up to this point, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support subscriptions. And until next time.